So there we go. We'll see how we feel tomorrow. No temperature, so that's encouraging. Anyway, let's start with the jobs in hand. Good morning. It's Sunday, October the something, and we've had our first frost and it's very cold. It's very cold and over the last, I don't know, two or three weeks, um, we had sort of mixed luck with health and so on and so forth. So we didn't post or film, or we filmed some, uh, we didn't post anything, but so the, the, this post is going to be bits and bobs uh, from the last three, <laughs> three weeks of what we were trying to do. Um, and obviously we appreciate that everybody's jobs at the, on the allotment at this time of the year are completely different. We still have lots of things growing and I'm planting the polytunnel today. We'll see how we got on with that. Nigel, is, we've, we've washed the greenhouse yesterday. And in fact, Nigel washed the greenhouse. I tied it, tried to tidy some stuff up. So uh, today we're picking up all the rubbish um, <clears throat> left outside and maybe sorting out the path to the greenhouse, the stinging nettles needs removing. And we just generally see where we go with the rest of the brassica planting um, in the poly. So we'll let you know how it gets on later. Today I will actually collect these little ones because they they are sort of the plant is died and I don't think it's gonna grow anymore, sorry. It's trying not to. So let's see what that one looks like. We'll collect the little ones. Well, this round courgette is still trying to produce, so I'm gonna leave it for a little bit longer. These are the late sown carrots by my mum. Um, what did I just pick? I've picked um, celery because they're reasonable size. Now I will be comparing everything with the giant veg. It's nowhere near it. <laughs> and I picked a swede. Now these are the as it happens now, I would call them three pound, three pound um, trees, because it's seven for 1998, looking really good. Um, and some more dahlias to, to pick home. These are the big dahlias, but they obviously struggle here amongst the beetroot and the Swiss chard. So we will be picking anything worth picking today. This sweet peas is going to come down and we will harvest all the pots. So sunflowers, they're still going. <coughs> okay, these are the brassicas I planted two weeks ago. Cauliflowers mainly and rab. And this is the Cabala, uh, um, Nero di Toscana. I will be picking probably most of these tomatoes. They're all looking, you know, I'm going to prepare this bed for another lot of, um, another lot of uh, brassicas, loads of them ripening. <coughs> I'm sorry. And look at these marigolds. They started to climb. They want to compete. <laughs> uh, I just picked a couple of cabbages. Um, these small cabbages. But couple, I, I did cook the previous lot. So they need to be sort of sorted out. This is my sweet and uh, celery. Well, they're not looking perfect by any means. A little bit of sort of rust on the back. I found another little one. It may be worth taking. They're lovely roasted. These Brussels sprouts are kind of appearing. They're not perfect, but you know, we will take anything. So I will just remove the leaves if I find the time to, today or maybe tomorrow if I'm, if I'm up to any kind of work. That needs to be, definitely needs to be um, weeded. 
recommend it. And we're going to put some kurabi here on the heavy <laughs> sort of cover because I think that bed, bed is particularly prone to rodents. And look at the berlotti bean. It's just starting again, very late planting of these. They are just starting to appear and still flowering. So that bed is going to be left for quite a while. Okay, um, let me get on with the rest of the harvesting jobs. Okay, so this polytunnel is got all now blight. So this is going to be removed and I just closed for the time being. So I just harvested everything that was fairly pink. I've decided to leave them for another week. But that is it. Um, okay, I will ask Nigel to cover it properly because I've been touching a blighted tomato so there's no point me being around this area at all. So this is my last harvest from the poly. Uh, from the poly, yes, they, these have not been blighted but they're all now going all out. And this is harvest from the Crimson Crush. And this is potentially blighted one, so I'm going to put them separately. Nigel making fantastic progress. You can see all the sticks being taken out <coughs> of that bean bed. Let me just pop into the greenhouse. This is my next job. So, um, Nigel put some of the runner beans here. So these are drying up for seeds or beans or stews. We see how many we need. Anybody wants some, let me know. These are mainly Enorma and Crimson um, flowered. Okay, I'm going to leave here in a dry because I don't think I'm going to be able to plant. Everybody's planting garlic and I was going to plant, but I'm just coming in a cold sweat so i think we'll be going home soon but i've got some of my homegrown elephant garlic cloves about six and three heads of the hard neck and i'm gonna leave that here i found another little squash i think it was a courgette there let's just have a look and investigate Wow, I'll be damned. Yes, there is a courgette. Oh, these are quite nice when they are like that, fairly small. So you've got a couple of baby courgettes. Yum, yum. I see if I'm by magic from this. To this, to this. My um, celeriac, which I thought I might have nothing. Look like it's really quite bulbed. Don't need to be massive. Considering I had very difficult life being squashed between the sweet pea and the cage with earlier broad bean and now leeks. Well, it's not that difficult, not an easy life, that's for sure. But we will have a crop. Let me just finish doing that. And as I'm going along, I'm clearing the cucumbers as well. Well, these are the collected beans for seeds <clears throat> for the sort of 
Not the runny beans, the normal beans. They enormous, I have to say. If we're not ill, I can sort them out tomorrow, put them in a greenhouse to dry up. Good morning, it has been a while. Um, I haven't been well and my voice was horrendous. I did some <coughs> filming before. So I attached a few clips from from then. Anyway, it's a beautiful day. We feel a little bit better. And here we go, doing the usual allotment things. These are crimson crash and they just started having a blight. So it's time for them to all go. For those of you who are still confused about the blight, well, that's what it looks like. And more likely like that, and like that, and like that. So I know they still going, it usually start in some of around the stems and is um, airborne disease. Has the soil is perfectly fine to plant straight away something else if you want to. As you can see, I can spot the blight here. Um, the leaves also getting a little bit sort of, um, and it's not everywhere yet, but once you had them at such a close quarter, crimson crush or no crimson crush, they will all get it. So all this fruit is off today. I'm taking them home and I'm gonna re be replanting it because the cage is quite tall for the tomatoes with some uh, um, um, probably purple sprouting broccoli. Well, I have to show you this. I never had um, marigolds like that. These are basically almost small bushes and they look so fantastic, but I do want to plant something here. So as much as, you know, I love them, they will have to come out on this occasion. I might leave some at the end. Okay, I've met, cleared up that bed cut everything down and I will be putting a couple of perennial weeds which I need to put and putting Nigel's homemade compost in this bed we'll see how we go with that should be good what do you think mm. <laughs> Nigel got also inspired and he is on top of his composting at the moment Apparently with the Nordic principles, the compost don't have to be too fine. Uh, Charles said he never sieves his. We're gonna go exactly that to make life easier. Um, so Nigel is gonna nicely prepare that bed while I'm gonna try to uh, get the, the relevant seedlings out. And amongst them, yeah, I'm gonna plant some um well maybe garlic and maybe i put the garlic in the next bed we'll see okay so i've planted six of the um rudolph variety of a, um, a broccoli and broccoli and then i have two of the early purple uh just to filling the bed. As well as that, I've decided to plant a handful of, of, of garlic amongst them. So I'm gonna go sort of, I'm not, not quite sure, I might just do them in the middle. Okay, so let me just put them where they're gonna go, otherwise I me space them. Okay, I've pushed one already in without thinking. Okay. 
right here. Let's have a look. Right in the middle, there should be. Okay. I've got a couple left, so I just place them somewhere. Okay, so let me just push them a bit and cover them. As easy as that. And one here. <coughs> okay, so all done. I'm just gonna put some slug pellets like in these beds. See if there's some something been digging in there. And we already have a bit of weeds, but I wait when they are a tiny bit bigger, easier to pull them out. And these are the uh, Nero di Toscana. Um, but it was lots of manure and uh, yes, I think it's the, the manure which carries. Maybe oh, even the compost. It's been standing there a long time. The the seeds will fall. Just a quick progress on those brassicas. So I've got um, these are the cauliflowers, and they seem to be doing fine. There is not that much slug damage or whatever damage. I can see quite lots of little white flies going around. Uh, but otherwise, the, I would say the plants are looking really healthy. So these should really be ha much happier in a bed rather than being in a polytunnel. I just brought some dahlias here and salvias to sort of overwinter. Still that many brassicas to plant out. A couple of artichokes there. Look, masses of weeds. They just, I don't know, crazy stuff. These cucumbers I moved here some time ago, put it in the ground. Oh, there is one growing. Can you see? Just there. maybe a little bit late in a season but if that was done maybe two three weeks earlier planted beginning of July we would have a second crop now I don't know why I have a tree growing here is the uh, buddleia we'll need to sort that all out and let me harvest the pumpkins just in case they get completely frosted there's one of the pumpkins hanging there for dear life. It's changing color so I can take it home. And here are the other two. One is already in the greenhouse because it was trying to bring the tree down. So let me just do that. Unfortunately, I will have to do this off camera, otherwise we might have an accident. So that is fine. And that I will have to hold with my knee. Oops! Four lovely beauties. They're not massive, but they big enough, all from one plant. So I'm happy bunny. I think Nigel is also quite pleased with these. Um, when we're talking about harvesting, Here's some of the dahlias, they've been lying down really. That's why a little bit of sort of debris on them. And these are the last of the big ones. I have picked them up. Look. And they're gorgeous. Pick them up to take them home. Definitely needs to save that dahlia. But at least still looks like we've got some yellow courgettes to harvest and they're still coming. Well, we'll leave it. I don't think I'm, they will, nothing else will come to anything. But I'm going to harvest the three big ones. And 
I suggest something interesting. You see, behind that courgette, I thought I lost it. Two years ago, I planted three yacon tips and one of them survived. And this year produced this big plant, which, because I'm gonna put another flower bed here, just to exclude those weeds. And that flower, first flower bed finishes somewhere here, here. Uh, <clears throat> I will have to move that yakon. But, well, interesting to see if what kind of bulbs they have, because you, you obviously harvest the, 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 I don't know, corms, I think, uh, as a sweet thing, can make syrup or eat as a pudding. Uh, however, there's going to be another bed coming in here with the white dahlias, which you've probably seen in a polytunnel. And um, yes, that will need to be moved before the proper frost come. Well, this is going to be the last potato reveal of the year because we're not growing Christmas potatoes. We've got so many potatoes that I just... But these potatoes I grew for seed potatoes and these are German potatoes called Gala. And let's see if we have any. Just tip them out. It's been raining, so they look really sloshy. Okay. They're supposed to be fell. Oh, look at that. I thought we just scratched it. <coughs> They are okay as they see potatoes, they don't have to be big. I've put about two of them, I think. Let me put the phone down and bring you back when I finish. Okay, so I'm taking home some of these. They're going to go in the fridge and uh, hopefully that'll be good. So we are in the poly and what I'm going to do first, I'm going to tidy up this side. We're going to start planting from this side. And these are the brassicas that go in the first thing and then we see how much more we can put in and we just start from that. So I'm going to be reorganizing it. It's not particularly interesting. I'll be lugging the, the pots and weeding the space and the spacing things. I'll bring you up a little bit later. Okay, so the, all, that's all the brassicas in. There is some purple sprouting broccoli. There is some um, Cima di Rappa. There is some Calabrese. Um, a different type of things. Then we have some Corabi. I probably missed a couple of things, but there you go. Can't remember, maybe one or two cabbages. Whole bed planted. Let me just show you so what's in a polytunnel. And that's the brassica. I planted some more brassica around the garden but I will show that next week in a proper allotment tour. On this side We've got still some chilies in the corner. Haven't been. I'm not going to be overwintering the chilies this year. Uh, we're going to sow afresh, I think. Some dahlias, some salvias. This side needs to be sorted out. There's still some cucumbers climbing there. <clears throat> so these are perpetual cabbages. They're going in a normal bed, but I just don't have yet. I didn't manage to to get that done today. 
is it's very crispy it's crisp and crisp and bright and I managed to find another couple of uh, small uh, squashes so that's today's dinner uh, um, Nigel does lovely roasted squash with broccoli broccoli is put later on with halloumi black rice some sort of Thai dressing is absolutely scrumptious so we are packing up as you can see Nigel I'm just gonna wait for him and we're gonna say goodbye together Well, that's it for us this morning. The sun's come out, it's warm. Margosha has been planting brassicas. brassicas in the new polytunnel. Mm -hmm. I've been cutting bits of willow off and tidying up and trying to keep out of mischief. And now I'm going home for lunch. Yes, it's been a good day. Um, and it's been there difficult, you know, two, three weeks, but hopefully we're now fully vaccinated <laughs> as of yesterday for everything and um, hopefully we can go on without a hiccup for a few more weeks next week we'll do the full allotment tour i try to be concise and today we are going home with this little harvest so it's some kale the purple kale and a green kale and i found a couple of little squashes which Nigel is going to make into a fantastic dinner so <clears throat> every time we come we do some harvesting but this is today's thank you for watching goodbye goodbye